now I am moving into the second example. In this example, I have taken the barbershop uh, example, which I have discussed in the model 1 also, the same example. So, the owner of a local one chair barber shop is thinking of expanding the shop capacity, because there seems to be too many people are turned away. Observation indicate that in the time required to cut one person's hair, there may be 0, 1 and 2 arrivals with the probability 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 0 0.3 respectively. So, this information is very important. That means, uh, during one person's haircut, uh, what is the probability that uh, no people turned up with the probability 0.3 and the one people may turned up with the probability 0.4 and there is a possibility two arrivals is possible during the one person's uh, haircut with the probability 0.3. Therefore, the summation of probability is going to be 1. So, so during the one, one person's haircut, these are all the only three possibilities are possible with the 0 arrival or 1 arrival or 2 arrival. The shop has a fixed capacity of uh, 6 people including the one whose hair is being cut. That means, uh, maximum 6 people can be allowed uh, in the system. So, 5 people can wait maximum and 1 people under the service. Any new arrival who finds six people in the barber shop is denied entry. That is the meaning of a capacity of the system is finite with the size six. Now I am going to define the random variable. Let x n be the number of people in the shop at the completion of the nth person's haircut. This is very different uh, random variable or this is very different stochastic process. Usually the parameter space is a uh, time but here the parameter space is the number of people in the shop the n is the parameter space is the the person who leaves after the haircut so it's a it's a nth person who leaves the system that becomes the parameter space whereas the random variable is a how many people in the system when the nth person leave the system that means you should not count that person when you are finding the values of x that means, uh, this number is counted at the departure time point. So, when the nth person leaves, how many people in the system and the system is a uh, maximum 6 people allowed. Therefore, he cannot see more than 5 people in the system when he leaves. So, because of this uh, constraint, because of uh, during the one person's arrival, either 0 or 1 or 2 arrivals can take place and so on. Based on this information, the stochastic process x n is going to be a discrete time, discrete uh, state stochastic process as well as the Markov property satisfied. That means, the probability of x n plus 1 takes some value given that uh, all the previous values are known that is same as the conditional probability distribution of x n plus 1 takes some value given that x n was some value. So, all so the future distribution given that present as well as the past information is same as the future distribution given the present not the whole past information. So, this Markov properties will be satisfied by this stochastic process therefore, this x n will form a discrete time Markov chain. Obviously, it is the time homogeneous discrete time Markov chain also. So, in this example, our interest is to find out what is the one step transition probability matrix. This is going to be the one step transition probability matrix and the possible states S yes, is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5, because the capacity of the system is 6 and whenever he, whenever the nth person leaves, either first person, second person, third person leaves, how many people are in the system. Therefore, the maximum will be 5 and there is a possibility when he leaves, no one will the 
in the system also. And this is the one step transition probability matrix and this is also going to be a square matrix because it is going to be a countably finite number of elements and this is a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, we can discuss what is the probability that 0, 0 in one step that is nothing but in the nth when the nth person leaves no one in the system when the n plus 1 nth person leaves no one in the system what is the probability for that that is a x n plus 1 is equal to 0 given that x n was 0 it is a one step transition probability it is independent of n because it is a time homogeneous it is a one step transition probability matrix. So, this is possible at some person leaves whatever be the n nobody in the system when the next person leaves nobody in the system. So, that is possible by when some person leaves the system was empty for some time you do not know how much time it was empty. Then the n plus 1 nth person enter into the system and during his haircut no one turned up or no arrival takes place during his or n plus 1 nth haircut is going on. Therefore, when he leaves no one in the system. So, we are not bothering when he enter into the system and so on our interest is how many numbers of people in the system when the n plus 1 nth person leaves and this probability is n plus 1 nth person leaves the 0 people in the system and given that when the n nth person leaves also 0 person in the system. So, that is possible with the explanation I have given no one enter into the system during the n, n plus 1 nth person's haircut and the information is provided indicate that that time required to haircut one person haircut there may be a 0, 1 or 2 arrivals with the probability 0 0.3. So, no arrival takes place during the one person's haircut is a 0 0.3. Therefore, this probability is possible with the probability 0 0.3. Whereas, P 0, 1 of one step the same way you can write probability that x n plus 1 is equal to 1 given that x n is equal to 0 that is possible when the nth person leaves no one in the system when the n plus 1 nth person leaves one person in the system that means during his haircut one person enter into the system that is possible with the probability 0.4. Similarly, from 0 to 2 in one step that is going to be 0.3 with the probability two arrival takes place during the n plus 1 at the person's haircut. Now, the second row. Second row, what is the probability that when n at the person leaves one person in the system, when n, n plus 1 at the person leaves 0 person in the system. That is possible during the n plus 1 at the person haircut, there is no one in the system no no arrival takes place therefore that probability is 0 0.3 and from 1 to 1 that is possible with uh, one person arrived during the n plus 1 at the person haircut therefore that probability is 0 0.4 and uh, going from the state 1 to 2 that is possible two persons uh, arrived during the n plus 1 at the person haircut whereas uh, from 2 to 0 that is not possible because when the n nth person leaves the two person in the system therefore n n plus one nth person in the leaves definitely he will see one person in the system because because of no arrival and one arrival and two arrival therefore it will be shifted by one column and it will be keep continuing till the end whereas the last one what is the probability that what is the probability that the 5 people in the system when the nth person leave 
and uh, four people in the system when the n plus one nth person leave that is same as no arrival takes place during the n plus one nth arrival n plus one nth haircut going on. So, therefore, this is going to be 0.3 whereas, uh, p 5 to 5 in one step that is possible with the combination of one person arrive the system or two person arrive the system this system size is going to be maximum 6. Therefore, when n plus 1 at the person haircut is going on if one person arrives then he will be entered if two person arrives then he cannot be accommodated therefore, he will he would not join the system. Therefore, the system the number of customers in the system in the n x n that is going to take the value 5 and the combination of a 0.4 as well as 0.5. Therefore, this probability of system is moving from 5 to 5 is 0.7 because of 0.4 plus 0.3. Now, I can give the state transition diagram for this example because S yes, is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, the nodes are going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and the possible values from the state trans from the one step transition probability matrix I can make out. So, 0 to 0 that probability is 0 0.3 and 0 to 1 is 0 0.4 and 0 to 2 is 0 0.3. Similarly, I can fill up the all other things and 5 to 5 that is very important and 5 to 4 that is possible with the probability 0 0.3 and 5 to 5 is possible with the probability 0.7. So, this is the state transition diagram. I did not complete the state transition diagram. We have to fill up all the arcs with the weights going from one arc to other arc with the positive probability. Wherever there is a probability 0, we should not draw the arc for it. So, in this lecture, we have uh, discussed the discrete time Marco chain, then we have given the few important uh, properties followed by we have uh, explained the one step transition probability matrix and also we have given two simple examples with this uh, the lecture one is uh, over for the model 4. Thanks.